City Council is a step closer to replacing Rikers Island with jails in four boroughs. Advocates of the plan say these smaller facilities will encourage rehabilitation by moving inmates closer to their families and their attorneys. But there is opposition to that plan. CBS 2's Jessica Moore reports from City Hall. We vote today on a plan to close Rikers Island. A city council subcommittee voted five to one Wednesday to close Rikers by 2026 and replace the long maligned facility with four borough based jails in Brooklyn, Queens, Lower Manhattan and the Bronx. But even those who voted yes say it won't be without consequence. There are people in my community that I've worked very hard for for many years that are angry with me because I am voting yes on this. Council member Inez Barron brought today's sole no vote. She says she supports closing Rikers, but does not support borough-based jails. It's still a jail. It's not identifying or correcting the issue of blacks and Latinos being incarcerated and detained at a rate far greater than others. Former Rikers inmate Harvey Murphy celebrated the vote. It was a blessing. Outside City Hall, a much different scene. Something is wrong that we're pushing this through and disregarding the voices of New Yorkers when it comes to building borough-based jails. Some people we spoke with say they fully support the idea of borough-based facilities, but they add as long as the Department of Correction is in charge, nothing will change. Former Department of Investigations Commissioner Mark Peters. If all you do is break up Rikers and put it into four separate facilities, but you don't deal with the underlying problems that have made Rikers so dangerous, you're just going to find yourself with four mini Rikers. $8.7 billion would be poured into the new facilities, which would only contain a total of 3,300 beds. And with a current inmate population of roughly 7,200, Peters says it's a tall order. What do you do if crime already at historic lows doesn't drop by like 50% again, such that you only need 3,300 beds um, in a city with eight and a half million people? By 2026, a new mayor and a new city council could be faced with a dilemma. The full city council will vote on the measure tomorrow. At City Hall, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. So 26 city council members must vote yes in order for the measure to pass.